M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Bofeng DM32. I had a message from someone who has factory reset their radio and because of it, it's all in Chinese. So I'm just going to show you how to get it back to English. You just press menu, then go down to settings, then radio settings, then display function. And then if you go up, you'll see language, look. And there you are, English. Okay, so if yours is all in Chinese, you'll have to count it, really. So if you go menu, settings is one, two, three, four, five. It's the blue cog. Select. Then just select again. That's easy. Then go down one, two. Select. Then go up, one, two, three, four, five. Select. Then just select again for English is the bottom one. And that's it. I mean, it's a great radio, but just remember it's DMR. You know, I have so many questions about this radio and they're almost questions that you would ask about a normal Bofeng dual band radio. But once you enter the world of DMR, you are you have just opened up a very deep hole of learning. That, that you know, that, that is DMR for you. Uh, and so thanks for watching my YouTube channel. But yes, it does have GPS, APRS, DMR. There is a setting there for analog, but I haven't seen anyone that's actually set that up yet. I might try. Um, and yeah, VHF, UHF, airband. The airband on this radio is amazing. Yeah, it's literally amazing. It's one of the clearest airbands. Uh, you see that I put the frequency and it's gone automatically to AM even though I was in digital DMR. And honestly, when you hear it, you're going to be like, whoa, that's one of the best airbands ever. And it, yes, it works excellent for normal analog repeaters, your local repeater, GB3 this, GB3 that, but also GB7. But again, there's no easy thing with DMR. You have to learn how to program the radio. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now, 73.